11 bodies, 10 years, and countless theories. I'm talking about the Long Island serial killer case. It was just how many bodies were being found in one area. I was shocked. Follow us, Billy Jensen and Alexis Linkletter, on Unraveled, Long Island Serial Killer. And to follow our investigation even further, don't miss our all-new special Unraveled, The Long Island Serial Killer. Streaming now, exclusively on Discovery+. Plus. In countless theories. It was just how many bodies were being found in one area. I was shocked. And for us, this case is personal. You can follow our investigation in our all-new special, Unraveled, The Long Island Serial Killer. Streaming now on Discovery+. Plus. WQEE 99.1 FM, The Key, Noonan. In 1604, King James I gathered 47 scholars who began translating the ancient scriptures, completing them in 1611 with what we know today as the King James Version of the Bible. For over 400 years, the King James Version has been the trusted translation for millions of believers, capturing the majesty of God's Word and shaping the worship of generations. Christians have turned to the King James Version of the Bible for faithful and beautiful renderings of God's Word. Its rich tradition has guided generations of pastors, authors, and scholars, while its relevant language continues to shape our words today. The scriptures come alive as you read through the Bible in the beautiful language of the King James Version. Finding a KJV Bible you can trust should be just as easy as trusting the KJV itself. At thekingjamesbible.com, you'll find a tool built to make searching for a new quality KJV Bible as easy as possible, no matter your needs. Whether you need large print study helps or premium leather bindings, you can find it and more at the King James Bible. Bible.com. Hey, mom and dad, you want to teach your child biblical values that will last a lifetime? Why don't you check out the best-selling Adventure Bible? It's the number one Bible for kids, allowing them to take an exciting journey through each chapter with full-color illustrations, memory verses, hands-on activities, and more. The Adventure Bible is now available in four translations. It's the perfect Bible to encourage your children to stay in Scripture. Do you know at AdventureBible.com, you'll find over 700 free games, activities, teaching resources, and more. Visit Adventure VentureBible.com today. I am Apostle Deborah Harris, Pastor Apostle of Kingdom Connected Ministries International at 121 Hillwood Circle, Noonan, Georgia. Presenting Connecting the Kingdom. Connecting Kingdom citizens, Kingdom businesses, and advancing the Kingdom of God in this hour. Join us each Tuesday at 10 o'clock a.m. with guests who are sharing their faith, business, and ministry. Hello, I'm Game Warden Charles Fallon with Georgia DNR Law Enforcement. Spending your days outdoors protecting Georgia's natural resources and serving its citizens sound inviting? If so, you might have what it takes to join the state's oldest law enforcement agency and become a Georgia Game Warden. If you are interested in wearing the gray and green, visit gadnrle.org and click Careers to see the minimum qualifications and application process. Thank you. The Columbus River Dragons are back and on the air this season on 99 Rock. Catch the action this week as the Dragons take on the Carolina Thunderbirds in a two-game set Friday. Puck drop at 735. And Saturday, puck drop at 605. Pre-game starts 30 minutes early on the River Dragons radio network. Limited tickets available at the Civic Center box office or on Ticketmaster.com. And if you can't make it out to Saturday's game, the broadcast will be shown live on WTVM Newsleader 9. Don't miss out this weekend. Wishbone Fried Chicken don't keep secrets. No secret herbs and spices here. Wishbone Fried Chicken cooks chicken the old-fashioned way, just like Mama. Wishbone Fried Chicken has been a staple in Noonan since 1970. At Wishbone, you can get three-piece dinners, two-piece snacks, and even a dinner for the entire family. Open Monday through Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Wishbone Fried Chicken, 32 Jefferson Street, Noonan, 770-253-7061. Wishbone Fried Chicken, the best chicken around, period. Hey, I'm Jimmy Ellison. I'm the pastor here at Noonan City Church. I want to thank you. You'll find as you walk through that we focus on three areas. Primarily, one is worship, small groups, and local missions. And our purpose is transforming lives for Jesus' sake, helping individuals experience that transformation. And we use these three areas, worship, small groups, and local missions, to help individuals experience that. 
I hope that as you walk through that you'll get a sense of, of who Noonan City Church is, and I hope that you'll come and worship with us soon. Take care, and God bless. I am Apostle Deborah Harris, Pastor Apostle of Kingdom Connected Ministries International at 121 Hillwood Circle, Noonan, Georgia. Presenting Connecting the Kingdom. Connecting kingdom citizens, kingdom businesses, and advancing the kingdom of God in this hour. Join us each Tuesday at 10 o'clock a.m. with guests who are sharing their faith, business, and ministry. Now presenting Connecting the Kingdom. Good morning, good morning, Facebook. Good morning, radio audience. I get that confused. I have two here. But radio audience, thank you for tuning in today and listening to this broadcast. I have a special guest with me this morning, and we're going to be talking about young people and helping them and aiding them uh, for college, um, for their college career goals and and I'm excited to have uh, this gentleman here with me today. We go way back to Madras Middle School where we worked together and I taught his children and I co coached his daughter and uh, we became uh, friends at that time, he and his wife and his children and it has just been so beautiful, so beautiful. So I pulled, I looked back and I said, wow, we need to talk. So here we are today and I'm going to let him talk to you. I am, again, Apostle Deborah Harris of the Kingdom Connected Ministries International here in Newton, Georgia, and I'm going to let him introduce himself, and then we're going to roll. So, introduce yourself to the radio audience. Some will know you, and perhaps some will not. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name's Todd Scarborough. Uh, like I said, known Deborah for a few years now, and uh, Amen. athletes uh, yes. kind of got us into one another. Yes. Uh, no, I, I have uh, been very fortunate to be able to work with you and yes. for and for the kids, uh, and still very fortunate here. to do the same. Same here. So I, I'm I'm very very fortunate. Amen. Amen. Same here. Uh, because your wife uh, worked so well with me when I was coaching Hannah, and uh, she I asked her would she be the team mom because you know we have those. <laughs> And she agreed, and she was uh, she was so diligent about helping me to maintain the team and help the team. And I've had some really great team moms in the past that 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 were willing to be there, help in any form, fashion, or shape. And she did an excellent job. And I loved Hannah, and of course your son. Um, and it was just so awesome, so awesome. So I'm, I'm really thankful that you're here today. You took time out because I'm, I know you should be at work, <laughs> but you were able to take a few minutes out to come up and talk with me about, um, you know, helping these young people. And, and really, you and I talked a little bit before, and this is the season. We're right dead smack in the middle of these young people applying to go to college, yep. uh, looking for scholarships. Uh, needing scholarships, and as I mentioned earlier, every little bit helps. Every, every little bit, bit counts. I mean, we need that money, and those kids need the money, and so we thank God for that, and, and that COVID has done a lot of messing us up, but we're still pushing through it. So let's start talking. Let's start talking about FCA. Now you and I have all already agreed that we have not been able to get into the schools like we like we once did, and you were very active in going into the schools and sharing with the young people and talking to them uh, about different things as well as offering scholarships. What have you done so far? Have you what? I know you haven't been in the school because that's against it, against their rule right yep. now. Yep. But what what are you doing as far as the FCA is concerned? As far as FCA right now, personally, not a whole lot. Okay, um, okay. You know, and that's understood. They've had a couple of uh, events that I've gone to and, okay, <clears throat> and helped sponsor okay. and do, uh, but, you know, not a whole lot. I know they meet one night a week, uh -huh. um, and, and they're going to have my head for this, but I do not remember the church they go to. Um, um, I know. Is it uh, Heatherwood? Heatherwood, yes, it's Heatherwood. Yes. There you go. So maybe they're not going to get me too bad. So no, they it's won't. A, it's at Heatherwood. Uh, they meet and, and 
just to be honest, I, I'm wide open. So so mm -hmm. sometimes the evenings are I get caught up on what I'm doing in right. in, in this past time. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I but, understand. But uh, no, I, I still see some of these kids. I still mm -hmm. you know go to dinner with some of them, so eat okay. breakfast with some of them, and just okay. go see some games. Uh, awesome. You know, my son. A little bit of background for some of these people. My son passed away in eighth grade. Yes, he and, did. And um, that kind of got me into FCA. Yes, and, yes, um, absolutely. And his classes will be the senior class this year. So okay. especially Noonan, mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, Northgate and EC, um, but especially Noonan. I go to their games because those kids really keep me involved. Yes, I got a awesome. couple kids at both Northgate and EC who keep me involved. Awesome. But the, but the group at Noonan really keeps me involved. Awesome. You know, keep you know me and my family, me and my wife and my daughter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we got invited to senior night football. Awesome. Um, so, I, so I get to still be with them and, and do stuff with them. Uh -huh. So, um, it, it, it's again, I'm very fortunate to be able to be with with that group and, and be involved with the FCA. Amen, amen. And you know, sometimes your presence is just more than enough. It's more than enough. Amen. We know that you have been able to do a lot financially. But, you know, sometimes money is just not always the answer. No. Your presence will make a difference. And, I mean, I'm just, I'm blessed to hear that, you know, you're still able to go and be involved in some of the games because I know a lot of the kids love you. They well, love you. I love uh, those kids. Yes, you do. You do, but they love you too. Yeah. And so I, I imagine when they are out there uh, performing and, and playing in the games, and they at the end, and they're able to see that you've been there. I imagine that's just that just yeah. makes uh, it, it's been it's been a two way street, very much so. Yes, you know, yes, I kind of went absolutely. just to help them out, and and I told them, you know, right after my son passed, that we're going to work through this together. Yes, and um, they have been a more blessing to me than I've been to them. I think, I, they, and they yes. don't they may not know that, but right. I, I tell them that every time I get a chance yes. that they are a blessing to me. Having them, um, yes. you know, sending me a text or sending oh, me a D, wow. you know, I'm still not into technology, but send me a DM <laughs> on Instagram. You know, I've been, uh, I'm like, all right, well, show me how to do that. So okay. my daughter was very good at setting me up an Instagram page awesome. and uh, awesome. talking to these kids. And, and, and very fortunate that some of them come talk to me and still talk to me about some of their big problems that they don't go to a counselor, they don't go yes. to, you know, just, I, I don't know, I, I, I kind of riding on Hunter's coattails to a little bit that yes, hey they trusted yes. him so much so they trust me so yes awesome it's been very that fortunate. is awesome i mean i i'm just sitting here thinking that is that is so that's powerful i mean and that's that's what these kids need they really need mentors that are not mentors that's you right. understand what i'm saying I do. they need mentors that maybe not you don't even go under the heading or the title of a mentor but you are the very example of a mentor. They need that. They need to be able to come to you and talk with you and share with you. Yep. Because some of them, they will not, like you said, they will not go to the counselor. No. They will not talk to their friends and nope. they will not even talk to their parents. Nope. nope. So here you are and what a blessing. What a blessing. And so, yes, I see you're still very active and I know as I shared with you earlier, I would have been back into the school uh, to speak at one of the uh, if not more than one of the meetings, um, Coach Nash at Madras right. uh, has called me to come in a couple of times uh, in the past. But as we've already made mention, we have not been able to get into the school system or in the schools to do any type of work like that. And you know what? You and I both have agreed, what a shame. Yep, it's, what it's a, a shame. What a shame. Because there's so many kids that are probably struggling even worse now Ooh, because they're not at school. Yes, um, yes. When I was going, I was going every week. You most, were? Mostly to Noonan, but I did go to other schools and, mm -hmm. and to the middle school. But, uh, you know, some kids would come up there and tell you, this is the only church I ever get. Wow. This is the only lessons I get on yes. the Bible to hear yes. about God. This is the only time I get to do that. Only time. Um, you know, some of them will tell you, hey, I'm, I'm going to get on the bus early or I'm going to have a friend bring me on Friday or on Tuesday or whatever day wow. that was they did it. Wow, isn't that something? It's because that's, it's the only time I get to hear this and I want it. Wow, that is something. And and we heard the same thing at Madras. Right. Those kids, uh, they, they a lot of the kids didn't even know what church was about. No. They had no idea 
they had no idea, you know, any kind of church mannerisms or any kind of church, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, ethics or ethics. They, they had no idea. They yep. had no idea. And so they come to FCA and mostly you would have uh, pastors come in or evangelists or other men and women of God that, that, you know, that study the Bible, read the Bible, whatever, and they talk. And these kids were, they were like, oh, I, I never heard of that. You know, because they're going to talk to you after FCA. Yeah. So they would come to me and they'd say, what was he talking about, Coach Harris? Or what were you talking about, Coach Harris? Coach yeah. Harris, you did a good job or whatever. And it's like, I had never heard that before. So, you know, it's, I mean, when I think about what a mess was created in 2020, I, it just made me mad all over again. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was a real mess. It, it, it's, it's a mess. It still is a mess. And it still is a mess. It yep. still is a mess. And it's just, it, it's, it's so unfair. I was talking to the gentleman over at Newton Water Light Park. They were out there. Uh, they worked there. And I think these guys are more or less retired from the company. And they get assigned there for extra work. I don't know. But no, yeah, some of them, some of my baby, some of them full time okay. employees. Yep. Yeah, and um, and anyway, they were picking up. Um, they were just picking up stuff. So I said, and I talk to them all the time. They they know me from walking, <laughs> and I said, it cannot be that many cigarette butts. That's what I thought <laughs> they were picking up. <laughs> and I said, let me ask them what they're picking up. So they were picking up what they call the sweet gum balls, and he said that. Uh, they were told to, you know, keep as many of those off of the walking thing area as yep. possible. Because if you step on one of those, that's it's exactly children. right. Yes. The children step on one of those. I mean, that's like yeah. pain. But anyway, and so they were, and I just, I was teasing them. I said, well, at least y'all getting some exercise. And I said, but you know what? More so than anything, you two look like y'all are having fun. Y'all are getting a chance <laughs> to fellowship. And I said, that's what they try to take away from us. And they, we, you know, all, all three of us agree. And so... Uh, that's what FCA, FCA is all about. Fellowship yep. of Christian athletes. That's right. And of course, everybody in the school, whether you're an athlete or not, you were invited that's to right. come to the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Church. That's right. <laughs> you were invited to come to church. And, the, and a lot of the kids took advantage of it. And they had an opportunity to fellowship with each other. And that was so, so awesome. So tell me this, you um, you started the scholarship program. So, tell us about that. So I didn't start it. Okay, uh, okay. But, but um, so my cousin come to me. Okay. And, and I'm not going to say a whole lot about him because he probably don't want everybody to know him. But my cousin come to me and said, hey, I want to do something. And you know, okay. this is what I'm thinking. So me and my okay. wife sat down. We talked a little bit. So because of my son passing, he... he had come to us and said, "Hey, let's 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 do something in his name." Yes, so which is so awesome. We started a foundation that okay. gives away scholarships to okay. all three public schools. Okay, and we give um, two scholarships. Actually, we give thirty five hundred dollars to a boy and thirty five hundred dollars wow. to a girl. Wow! Um, wow! 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 This year we're kind of up in the game because it's his senior year, and okay. we're giving away. You know, my wife, if she's listening, she's gonna be mad, but it's. Forty-eight, forty-nine thousand dollars this year. We're going to wow. give away. We're going to give away extra scholarships because we have been very fortunate mm -hmm. that in our fundraisers we've made money and it's doing really well. Mm. Uh, and awesome. So we're going to give away extra money, but we do that. We do give that every year. Okay. Uh, up until whenever we decide it's not, but mm -hmm. um, we have a board that's set up now. So awesome. That's the way it, to do it. It's it's not. Hey, you know, we're picking on. Right. This one or that one. Right, right. And um, our scholarships are a lot different than other scholarships. Okay. Um, we ask the counselors to go through and send us a, a group of them. Okay. And we ask them to blot the names out. Good. And we we don't ask for how much money your mom and daddy make. Right. We don't ask for who who you are. Okay. Um, we ask for what kind of leadership you do. Uh, good, we, we want good. people kind of like, like like Hunter was. Yes, uh, a leader. You know yourself. Oh, yeah. You asked yes. that child to come speak at a church, oh, and he didn't ask gosh. you what church. He said, yes, ma'am. Just absolutely yeah. awesome. So 
we're 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 more of hey, what kind of leader are? What have you done for the community? Yes. You know, are Good. you helping? Are you helping kids? Good. Are you helping uh, yes. retirement homes? Awesome. Are you helping uh, feed the hungry? What are you doing? Or do yes. you have something else you're doing? Are you mm-hmm. a leader in your in your youth group? Yes. Um, we ask those kind of questions, and we ask them to do a survey or uh-huh. do a um, letter at the end. Okay. That um, tells us about yourself. Okay. And we have the counselors write A, B, C, D, yes. whatever. So uh-huh. when we read these, we read them, and then we go back and say, Miss Counselor, we, we like D and E. Good. And, and she knows. And she knows who it is. And then uh-huh. she goes, okay, this is who these people are. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you then, we do... My daughter does a, a very good job. Of, we go a little bit a step further than the counselors. My daughter does a background check through yeah. Instagram and all that. <laughs> uh, go, to, to, Hannah. To make sure <laughs> that they are the people who, who they, you know, you, yes. there's two different people in the world. Yes. yes they're they're yes. the person who, who acts like this in front of you. Yes. But over there, acts something different. Well, we don't want that person. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. And so H- Hannah is our background check she she's our fbi agent <laughs> she, love that hannah <laughs> hannah i have uh amber is my fbi person she, my daughter she does that yeah, too we do it too and, and she does a good job and and you know fortunately we have not turned i think maybe one down out of the whole bunch okay but and uh, that's not bad no and she does you know we check them and, and make sure they're good people yeah and we have give um you know it, the the uh, website is hunterman.org. Okay. And you can go in there and you can see the past scholarships we give to. Uh-huh. And there again, we don't we don't care we you, what your background is. We didn't care who you was as long as you was a good person. Yes. We want to give people that are deserving, and it don't matter if you have a full ride scholarship uh-huh. or if you don't have a dime. Right. If you got a full ride scholarship and you are a very good person, you do a lot for this community. Well, guess what? You're going to get $3,500 to either go to food that you're going to need in college yes. or a airplane ticket home to yes. see your parents Absolutely. or to, you know, maybe car allowance or car insurance. We're going to write a check to you once we get the confirmation that you're in the school. We're not writing it to the school. Right. This is your money. Oh, And we wow. want you that to do different. what you need to do with your money. That is different. That's very different. Very, yep. very different. That's awesome. And you know what? I'm right there with you because I will share, now that we're talking about scholarships, that my church does the same thing. We've been doing it for about the last nine years. Right. We started out giving two scholarships to each school, and we went, we went for about three, we went for about, not three, we went for, we did that for about, I'm going to say about six of the nine, well, no, seven of the nine years. I think the last two years we, we, we went from, um, two scholarships per school to one. And we had our reasons reasonings for doing that, but um, it, it did come in very uh, handy, and we get stacks of applications. We get stacks of applications, right. and you and, and most kids are going to share. They're going to share with each other, yep. you know, who this person is, who that scholarship uh, foundation is or whatever. And uh, you were saying that Hannah does a background check. Once you get the applications out, we, we do ours – different but this right. is our procedure we get them we have our board that that go through the applications the thing that we look for because we have some teachers that are on the board is that uh these kids who are graduating uh we're not looking for so much like okay you have to have a 9.9 i mean a, a, a 4.0 uh cumulative average right. or or something like that we will even help those that have qualified for college, they have been accepted, but their high school grade point average may not have been that great. And so we will go, we will help from that point all the way to the 4.0, okay? Uh, But what we need to see is how well did they follow our instructions? Did you scribble all over your application? Did you did you give us can the information? <laughs> yes, can we read it? Did you give us the app, the information that we asked for? If we asked for three references, you only gave us one. That we pushed that over to You're the gone. side. Yeah. Yep. And if you scribbled over your application, it's pushed to the side. Then if you um, present a really nice application, 
But then my daughter, she said, no, we're going to look on, we're going to go to Instagram, we're going to go to Facebook, <laughs> we're going to go to Twitter. We're going to yeah. see what these people are up to. Because, you know, and of course, we don't have to call names, but there was one particular application that was uh, presented a totally different story than what was being posted on Facebook and that's, Instagram. That's correct. And we were like, how, okay, two, we pushed that one to the side too. Two, two different people. Yes, and see, these young people, they need to understand that, and parents need to understand that. What they do on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and all the other social medias, TikTok, uh, all the other social media uh, sites, uh, job people that are hiring you now for their companies, they're going to you. The real you is on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and uh, all of these other sites. They can check all that. Yes, they can check it. They, they there is a way to check it, and they they will check and cross check, check and cross check until they find what they need to find. And so we were that. That's when when she did that. She she. We didn't tell her. She was just sitting while we were talking. She was just looking. And I, I tried to stay out of the process as much as I can. She was just looking. And she said, uh-uh, who did y'all say? And I said, you know, my daughter said, she gave her the name. And uh, she was like, let me see that application. Let me see that name. And she said, look at this. And we were like, what? <laughs> and so from that year, from that year on, that's what we started doing. Yeah. We didn't, that was not our mindset, but after she heard the name and she started checking and she saw what she saw, then we had to make that decision to start, start cross-checking that. But you're, um, I love the way you do your scholarships. I love that. You know, that's awesome. Cross out those names, send us the application because you know so many people. Yep. And you don't want to, you're really what you're saying is we're not going to be biased. We're, we're going to leave that out because I know a lot of these kids. I don't want parents or other people to say, you picked him because. That's right. That's yes. right. So I love that. And I love the fact that Hannah is cross-checking. Yes. Uh, trying to give you some kudos, Hannah. <laughs> I love that. And um, I love the fact that you put that. Now, see, that's different. I don't know how many other scholarship um, uh, foundations or organizations do this, but you put the money in their hand Correct. so that they can use it for other personal things That's that they right. will need it for. Because if they drive the car the first year, they're going to need money for that, that That's they correct. can't get from the college, um, except they have uh, a refund. And then you're going to, you know, you're going to need, you know, money for, uh, traveling expenses. If you need to fly home, like you said, wow, that is awesome. I like that. I, I love it. I love it. And then you're looking for leaders in the community. And I think most scholarship uh, organizations, I think we're all on the same page there because that's what we look for too. We look for leaders. Mm -hmm. We don't want somebody that you've never done anything and you're not doing anything. Well, you know, some people are busy and some people have different, you know, like I said, everybody's different. Mm -hmm. Some people are leaders, but don't get to get out in the community. Right. Their parents don't let them get out. Right. That's um, true. But you can, I mean, you can be a leader at school. You can. I mean, Absolutely. There's, there's an option out there. It's not like, hey, we're asking you to go be a leader at the church every week. Or right. we're asking you to go to the that's good. You know, children's home every week. You can be involved in the SCA. Yes. That, that's, that's right. That's a given. And there's other... In a group so at, at, at school that you can be a leader in and say, in your letter, you can say, hey, I'm a, I, I wanted to be a leader all my life. And, mm -hmm. and so I, I got involved at middle school. Yes. Madras Middle School yes. was phenomenal. I mean, we, we yes. would have 350 to 400 kids there every That's week. That's so true. Now, when you go to high Field. school, that drops off from 300, that drops off to 50. Yes. And I hate that. I now, know. me in Hunter's class came in and and they have held up you know they're in a deal you know his group anyway they, yes, they have held up yes. we, we go and there's you know 25 or 30 of them well yes. at, a, at the rest of these schools there's not i mean you, you have maybe oh, 12 know. seniors i've been there i've been be, to because hey i don't have to get up anymore i can drive my own car i don't, mm -hmm. I don't have to do that yeah and, and I, I mean lack of words but it's, it's laziness yes it is 
I can't get up one day a week to go do this. Yes. And, you know, one day they're going to have to get up every day every early to go to work. Every single day. Every but single day. it happens. I, and I see it with every single person. And, it, I mean, I see it with every single group that it's, it kind of just, the the uh, enthusiasm kind of goes away when you get yeah, to high school. I got so, so much true. else going on. But, um, you know, we, we got a, a pretty good group that, that we are fortunate to be with. And there's other groups too, but we're, we're very fortunate to be with FCA. That is awesome. And, you know, you're right. Those numbers do dwindle from 400 to about 50, and in some cases 25. Yes. Because after seeing the numbers being so high at Madras, I had the opportunity to go and speak at Northgate. And I'm just like, okay, where are we meeting? And they were like, we're going to meet in a classroom. I'm like, in a classroom? Um, a classroom? So I knew then, I said, it's not going to be that many. And it wasn't. So. And, and I have been at Northgate when there's 50 and 60. And yes. I have been at Northgate when there was 20, 25. Yes. I, I can't explain it. I, I don't know. I, I told them I was coming one, one time. Uh, they asked me to come. I said, okay, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tamara, I'll come. I'll speak. Mm-hmm. And it's hard for me to speak in front of the kids. I cry. And I think that may be one of the reasons they like me because I'll cry in a minute on them. <laughs> but I mean, okay. I, I'm going to show them real. And, yes. um, but I went up there and I, and I told some of them I was coming. Well, some of those kids who never go they showed came. up that morning. They came. And we had the place filled, the floor in front of me filled. Wow. I mean, there was kids. There was probably 60, 70 kids there. Wow. But then the next week, you know, I just happened to go back and there's 40. Wow. Well, where did those 30 go? You know, yeah. you can't make anybody do anything. You can You can, you can you do cannot. what you can do and hope that, you know, you've helped them. If it was at middle school, you helped them. Hey, great. If, if it's, if it's one person a month that you help or one person a year that you really help or save their life, yes. then it's, it's worth what we're doing. It's worth it. And I had the opportunity to go to EC and speak and it was the same way. Um, it was just yep. a handful of, uh, but they, they, in both places, they, both groups of kids that were there seemingly was committed. Oh, yes. To. Yep. Because I had some girls that played basketball for me, uh, and they were at Northgate, and they were a part of it. Uh, Olivia Sims, uh, she became the um, the leader. Yep. And uh, she was very committed to it, and she was able to pull some of her friends in to be uh, to be there too. But it's like you said, you these you know we don't have all the answers for it. But you shared some things, and that is you know a lot of them are driving; they're not going to get there that early. Uh, then they have that I'm grown syndrome, <laughs> and I don't want to go to FCA anymore. That was middle school. I don't want to do that. So, you know, all of these factors are involved, and it's okay because one thing that we understood, and that was that we can't push it on them. We can't make them take it. We can't make them become a part of FCA. It has to be something that they want to do. And uh, our good friend uh, Rob, he does an excellent job with FCA all the way across the county and getting uh, mentors involved, getting coaches involved, getting uh, coach, uh, coach, pe- coach mentors involved, you know, because I served on that board. I served as one of those two, uh, Coach Frady, down at East Cowie High School. Right. And uh, I served that year, and I didn't serve the next year, but then here comes COVID. So then it was out completely. But, uh, no, I didn't serve the next year because I think Coach Frady left. I think she, she resigned from coaching. I think that's how it went. And, uh, but it was, it was great when I did it. But I, I'm thankful that, uh, I think you, you said it was your cousin that started the scholarship. Family. I'm thankful for that because um, that's extra money for these kids to have to use when they go off to college. And in some cases, they're going farther away from home oh, than yeah. what some of the parents anticipated. But yet you have this money, you can put this money in your account and the parents don't have to go into their pockets and say, okay, well, here's X amount of money I'm going to put in your account. They can leave home and have money in their account to do what they need to do and um, not have to wait for a college refund because I've been there. Sometimes it takes, you don't get a refund until December. 
Yeah, don't, You're in college and Don't start me on refunds, girl. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I know, right? Get, you, pay, you pay a college that money and ask for a refund, like pulling teeth to get it back out. Oh, of yeah. It ain't. Oh, yeah. So we, we did decide early that we was going to do that. Awesome. That um, is awesome. I love that. Yeah. You know, we don't do that, but I'm glad you do it. You know, and that's just not something we as a board agreed to do. That's right. But I'm glad to hear that you all were able to do it because that is awesome. I, I love that. Yep. I really do love that. Now, this year, last year, how many scholarships? You gave out six last year. That's correct. And so far this year, you've already received your applications. Or, well, you've received names. I mean, not names, but. So uh, my wife has been talking to the counselors, and I think we have most everything in. Okay. I don't think we have everything in. Okay. Um, I think we are going to give out, I, I don't know the number. My, okay. My wife be all upset with me. Right, right. Number, and, and absolutely. But we're going to give out several more scholarships than normal. Okay. Um, if the applications are there, we're going to give out 40 something thousand dollars. Wow. And, and like you said, if the applications are there. If the there, applications are there. Yes, because yep. you don't want to just give out money to be giving out money. You That's have correct. you have your qualifications, and so these guys have to meet your qualifications. So that's good. Um, we do not have all of our applications in either. We have applications from two schools, but we're we're still missing one. So I'm going to have to figure out when I get back to the church tomorrow. I'm going to have to look and see uh, who's missing, and then go ahead and send it. Um, send a um e an email to the counselor yeah. and i want to say it may be ec because ec has been kind of all over the place this year with COVID because yeah. you know they were out they had to leave for a little bit yeah they had to shut down at least twice mm -hmm. i think and so they've kind of been all over the place uh as i would say not not on their part, but because of COVID. Because of COVID. Yes, yep. because of COVID. And and I know that they're prop they are probably running behind. Yeah. And and, and it's understood. It's yep. understood that there is no blame on their part, uh, no blame on the kids' part. We're gonna blame COVID. There's COVID. a there's a lot going on for these counselors and teachers for this yes. you know, virtual learning and virtual learning for them to be yes. virtual and Ugh. It's, it's, a, it's a tough go. Trust we, we me. Hope it's, we hope it's getting done. We, we want to get back to our fundraisers who are, you know, simple fundraisers. Yes. It, the one we do, I don't know if you came, but uh -huh. we, we do one or was doing one the second Thursday in June. Okay. Uh, and, and we started it, and, and I kind of said I want to do this for the kids. Okay. okay. I want to give back to the kids and have the kids get together. Mm -hmm. So we was doing a fundraiser, and we said, well, if we raise three or $4,000, that's fine. Well, we raised, like, the first time we raised, like, $20,000. Wow. Wow. And it's um, $10 to get in down mm -hmm. at Newton High School. Okay. And they get to play putt-putt golf. Okay. And it turns into night golf, lit up night golf. Mm -hmm. There's a live band. Okay. There's... Other stuff that kids can do, soccer and football, throwing and just playing. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, popcorn free, okay. water free. Okay. So for 10 bucks, you get all that. Wow. And then they have, we had food trucks lined up. So if you wanted something extra, we, you know, you go to a food truck. So we had the wow. varsity. We had uh, a lobster truck come in last time. Wow. That we was told about and it sold out, you know, pretty quick. Mm. We had people coming from Tyrone and Peachtree City, just you know, some older folks just mm -hmm. come because they heard the lobster trucks coming there. Wow! So they come over there just to eat. And, wow! Uh, Isn't that something? And, you know, wind up raising a good bit of money, but we made it cheap enough that the you know a parent could drop the kid off and say, "Watch them." And we had it down there. Noonan was Noonan has been very good to me and my family. We had it down there on the lower uh, field, so if you wanted your kid to go out there, the kid was in a fence; they couldn't yes. get out. Yes. So if you had a young kid. You know, seven, eight years old, you want to turn loose, turn them loose for a little while, and they're not getting out. You can stay at the front up there, and they, and they had to come back by you. Now, when you say the lower field, where is that exactly? It's a lower practice field for, uh, I think, soccer and lacrosse. Sitting over to the... Back behind the softball field down in the hole there. Yeah, over there. 
Is right. it across the street from the actual softball field? Yes, across, okay. the, yep, across the street. Okay, okay. Yep. Good, good, good. Okay. And we hope to get back to that this year. We're going we're gonna to make a phone call here shortly and, and okay. see what June looks like. I know the school events, you know, me and you have been talking about school events have been yeah. canceled. So we're going to see what happens. We, we hope to do something, but we're going we're gonna to see. And actually, if it's going to be in June, that's going to be after the school year. Yeah, but it's still so, part of school, so we don't yeah. want to we ruffle no feathers. We try to right, abide right. by whatever they they Because going it's by. a school facility. That's right. Yes. That's right. Wow. Okay, so that's, no, I didn't know about that, um, but that sounds like a yeah. great job. So y'all so, have all of that set up. Yep. So we do that one. My wife does that again. My wife is team mom. You know, she, yes. she's been... She's been my team mom forever. Every every time we've had an event, we had you know she's she's done it. And mm-hmm. um, the other event that we do that we make the majority of our money on is a clay shoot. Okay. Down at Big Red Oak with you know businesses and okay guys coming to shoot, and that's that's been a good fundraiser for her. Okay. She heads that up. She does a fantastic job with that too. And um, you all do a golf something too. Have you all done something? We, the only golf thing is that, that we call it. Okay. Uh, we call it glow golf. Is what we call okay. it. Okay, I think I saw that, mm-hmm. and of course I was like, mm, I'm not a golfer, but I could have donated. I well, donated you you all just come down because I will. there's food, there's, I will. Uh, there's miniature golf. Just watching the kids, some of these little kids play miniature golf. You know, just mm-hmm. having a good time, and you know, listen to music. And, just, yes, you know, some of them out there dancing and carrying on. Just a, it's it's a almost, blessing for us. It's almost like a fair night without it, it, the Ferris the, the Ferris wheels. It, it's it's like a uh, it's like a family night. Yeah, it's okay. what it's like. It's just okay. it, it, there again. Don't matter who you are, your race. It don't matter. It's, yes, it's family it's just night. Family night yep. and to have fun. That's right. Yes, and well, that that it would be awesome for you all to be able to do that. Um, yep. But y'all get permission to do that again. We're hoping to. And especially to. after all of this uh, shut down, shut in type, type of stuff. Yep. And you can't get close to anybody. And you, you know, and of course, you know, you got to have your mask on. You've got to do this. You got to. So we've had a lot of that. June would be a good time to set that off and to say, look. And, you know, not to say that people, you know, don't. You, not saying that you can't wear your mask. If masks are still mandated by the end, you know, by the end, if you, you know, wear it, do whatever you want to do, just come out and have fun. Yep. You know, but it would just be a good opportunity to get back to fellowshipping because that's it what, would. that's who we are. Yep, it would. We're, we're hoping for that. We'll, we're going to cross our fingers. Yes, yes. That's who we are. We do need to be those that can get back together again and have fun. I agree. Like with you that. said, a big family night. That sounds good. That that sounds awesome. Um, we um, one of the other things that um, I want to we we've talked about FCA. We've talked about the scholarships, um, and just being able to help these young people. Have you had an, any opportunities to talk with some of the young people that you gave scholarships to? Uh, I don't think any of them have graduated from college yet, right? No. They would be graduating this year. They would be graduating this year. This year, okay. So have you had any conversations with any of them that you helped, that you all helped, your, the we've foundation had, helped? We've had some conversation, and we've had uh, several send a letter back or an email back to my wife mm-hmm. because that's how my, my, at the end of the day, I think my wife started emailing them, mm-hmm. you know, hey, you know, Send me this, and okay. we'll we'll get with you and give you a check. Um, Sarah will say, and you know, if it wasn't for that, I don't know if I'd have made it through my first year. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, just very impressive. You know that that to me, that little bit of money helped them get over that hump yes. and get them started in and and keep going. And then some of them, you know, sent us a picture of, our, you know, we'd give a plaque with uh-huh. uh, you know the Hunter Scarborough Foundation. Mm-hmm. On it and a nice little plaque. Okay. Some of us sent a picture where they put the plaque over their bed. Right. And say, this is just a help me to remember every day how it helped me get here. Oh, wow. And uh, it is some, some neat stories behind all that. So it's been. It's been it's been fun. It's been kind of fun watching them go and, and some of them send stuff back. It's, right. it's nice. Because I think in any. Um any of the organ, I, I would like to say most of the organizations that give scholarships out, 
they are able to get some kind of response back from some of the students, not all, not yeah. all, but some of the students. You're gonna have, you're gonna always have, you're gonna always have some students, and 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 if not more than one or two, you're gonna definitely have one or two that's gonna take a picture. They're gonna send you an email. They're gonna send you a thank you card. That's right. Or if you run into them in the uh, streets, they're gonna say. Wow, and I've even had a couple of parents yep. to come up and approach us and say, uh, you, you, I remember you, you, because this is what we started out doing. We started out not just giving them a scholarship, but honoring them. Right. And we had it where we would sit down and have a banquet. And we would, because they, they're going to get the information that they received the scholarship from us from school. Right. All right. Then they're going to have their honors night at school. But then we would in turn do a banquet and we would say to these young people, uh, we're going to be praying for you. We're, you know, we're, we're going to be loving on you through prayer um, while you're four years away from your parents. That's right. And we do the banquet. They're going to need it. Yes, they do need it. <laughs> Lord, they're going to need it. They're going to need it. And we know that because we've been down that road. And so we do the banquet, we feed the families, and we feed, we feed the family, we feed the, you know, the, of course, the scholarship recipient, and we just love on them for that banquet. Right. And we give them uh, an additional basket with like a Bible in it and uh, a notebook or something in it, uh, you know, like the little tablets that they, right. journals was what I'm trying yeah. to call them. Yeah. We give them one with journals, we give them, you know, uh candle i have a lady that does that stuff and you know everything she put in the basket is very significant right. to their college travel so and it's always really cute and so we love on them and we do that and so i had i've had parents to say i remember you i came to the banquet you gave my son <laughs> or you gave my daughter a scholarship and then we've had uh some of the students the recipients to um come and back and say I remember you, and then I held this thing at my church where I called three of the former students back, and they talked to the students going in, and to just share with them um, what my first year was like. Right. And that was very helpful to the ones going in. And, you know, they they kind of giggled and things like that, and then you know, then the the ones that came back was like, y'all laughing right now. But I'm telling you, you gonna have you going you'll see what I'm saying. And of course, I because two of the girls were like they played basketball for me, of course, and um, they were like they've already told me, I, you know, I saw what they were talking about. I, da, 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 da. And of course, they got called up. You know, they didn't get, they got called up in uh, the college life, and they had to shake themselves and say, you know what, this thing is real. Let me get my act together. It's and they e did. It's easy to get caught up. You, yes. le you leave home. You're up, yes. under, you're up under mom and daddy's roof. Yes. And they taking care of you. And they, they got rules. And you get over there, you ain't got rules no more. And You're on your own. And, and, and some of them go completely wild. They do. And, and for most of them, they probably come back. They, it, some of them don't. Some of them get screwed up and they're screwed up forever. Yes. But, uh. You know, it, it happens. Uh, I see it. I see it with my own eyes. I hear about it. I, yes. We know it. And, yes. You know, you know, somebody said one time, well, what you going to do if you give it to a kid who goes over there and just blows it? Nothing you can do. And, uh, hey, that's in God's hands. Mm -hmm. we, we're going to do what we can ahead of time. And, and we go. And we did what we're going to do. You're going to have a bad apple every once in a while. Oh, you're gonna yes. Have, you're going to have something go sour every once in a while. But you're going to yes. do what you're going to do, and you can't focus on what happened. Yes. After. Yes, Absolutely. And we gave, we've given away a couple of scholarships. They went the first year, never went back. Come back. Because they got caught up. And got then, caught up. And, you know, we're getting ready to bring this to a close. But the guy that does the freshman orientation, you know, they always have the big freshman orientation. Right. And they do the big spiel in the auditorium or wherever they meet. And, and, and peop, those guys will tell them, a lot of you sitting here will not be back next year. As a matter of fact, you're going to do good to get past December. And it happens. It happens, it happens every year. But it's like you said, once we release that scholarship, it's in God's hands. That's right. It's nothing else we can do. And we don't worry. 
and that's we right. don't fret. Nope. And that's not going to stop no. us from giving the next group of that's, scholarship. That's exactly right. Because it's not fair. That's exactly it's right. It's not fair. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to post this to Facebook, and I'm going to put um, the scholarship your scholarship foundation on there. Okay. And um, we know that you've already y'all are already in the process of selecting names, but then perhaps this conversation will will inspire the next group coming up to become active. We'd, we'd love for them to. That's we'd, a lot we'd, of money. We'd love to have 50, 50 scholarships we got to read. Yes. But, um, that's, some good, that's some good stuff right there. Yep. That's a lot of money to have in your pocket. Yeah, we've been very fortunate. Yes, very that's fortunate. good. That's good. I love it. I love it. So, again, um, Mr. Scarborough, I am so thankful that you took time out to come Well, I'm so thankful us. you asked me to come. It's, yes, it's been yes, nice. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. I was looking forward to it, and I'm, I'm truly blessed. And we've had a good conversation. So, guys, parents, listen to this, share it, uh, talk to your uh, young people about what they need to do to be a scholarship recipient from uh, the Hunter, uh, Hunter Man. Hunter Man, that's right. Yep. How can I forget that? Because I well, love that. It's, it's Hunter Scarborough Foundation. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The website is HunterMan.org. Hunter Man. Hunter .org. Okay. So uh, share with them, and of course, my uh, church, Kingdom Connected Ministries uh, International, we give scholarships up, out each year. Most of them have already been sent to us, and we're in the process of selecting them. But then again, we have next year and the years after that, except the Lord Terry, we'll, we'll continue to do it. So thank you for listening uh, to the broadcast. Thank you for being here with us, and we will see you again on next Tuesday. I am a non-attorney spokesperson representing a team of lawyers who help people that have been injured or wronged. If you've been involved in a serious car, truck, or motorcycle accident, or injured at work... There's a lot to love about Xfinity Internet, and now we're giving you even more. Because Xfinity Flex comes free with Xfinity Internet. Flex is a voice-controlled 4K streaming box that lets you stream Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, and more, all on the same screen. Plus, search across tons of free content, including The Office on Peacock Premium, so you can watch thousands of your favorite shows and movies. Xfinity Flex. Free with internet. Get your Flexbox today. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Peacock Premium has a $4.99 a month value. 11 bodies, 10 years, and countless theories. I'm talking about the Long Island serial killer case. It was just how many bodies were being found in one area. I was shocked. Follow us, Billy Jensen and Alexis Linkletter, on Unraveled, Long Island Serial Killer. And to follow our investigation even further, don't miss our all-new special Unraveled, The Long Island Serial Killer, streaming now, exclusively on Discovery+. Plus.